Hello and welcome to the session techies. My name is Yogesh Kumar. In session today we are going to talk about performing user management using Ansible on Linux or Unix systems. So user management is one of the day-to-day -day system administration tasks for the system admin. I know this is not a difficult task. With couple of commands you can create a user, you can change uh, user attributes, but sometimes it becomes time consuming when you don't have a central user management system in your setup for example you don't have Microsoft AD or LDAP or uh, assume a scenario where you have to create uh, multiple local accounts for your system application or database purposes on a couple of servers or other good example let's say you don't have any central user management system and someone joins your company and you have to create a local user on multiple machines for that guy or someone leaves your company and you have to delete uh, his account so what it mean uh, you have to repeat your commands on multiple servers let's say you got uh, user creation task for particular guy on 100 servers so you are going to repeat your commands 100 times what it mean that's a headache it is going to take time and there is always a chance that uh, some error may occur right by mistake uh, we can uh, or we will do something which is not required how to avoid that how to save over time how to perform the work uh, in a better way so friends uh, answer to that you can use uh, Ansible for this purpose with Ansible you can write a playbook to manage uh, or perform user management in your setup to give you demo I have written a small playbook which can be used for creating local groups creating local users generating SSH keys for a user or update the generated uh, public keys or SSH keys into authorized key file of target user on your target machine you can use same playbook for deleting local groups or local users what I have done I have uh, tagged every task so no need to run whole playbook again and again whatever your required operation let's say you have to create user only so you can use the tag which is creating user only so it, what it mean in that way only the tag which you're calling that particular task will get execute so let's begin technical session friends where I can give you demo on the playbook which I have written uh, on my screen this is my Ansible master server from this server I'm controlling Ansible clients this is my Ansible client 1 which is app server 1 this is Ansible client 2 which is DB server 1 okay so let me discuss the playbook first playbook name is user management dot yaml okay so here in this playbook uh, this is the this is the information like uh, this is a demo playbook only if you have to use it uh, on your setup use at your own risk okay so let me make it colorful so it can be easily demonstrated let me use vim okay that looks good okay friends uh, so this is basically disclaimer at your own risk you want you want you can use this playbook okay so this is the host group it means uh, this playbook will get executed on all servers all is a group inside my static inventory file which is etc slash ansible slash host that is called static file because that contains static uh, inventory then become user root no need of this particular thing but uh, as a standard I have uh, kept this because I'm running this playbook as root account so next things are task so first task is to create a group not create a group basically create multiple groups it can create multiple groups because I'm using standard loop so name is equal to item what item mean this is a loop now so these are the items so this loop will repeat uh, itself for these three entries you can uh, add multiple entries if you want have to create uh, more groups and this is the particular tag uh, which is bound or uh, attached with this particular task 
so if I say in this playbook run this tag only so wherever this tag is uh, attached or configured that particular task will get executed in my playbook this tag is only for adding a group or adding groups so next task which is to add several users so here I'm again using standard loop so this is the tag name and I'm saying I'm using user module saying name need to be item item are these items state need to be present this is going to be secondary group why secondary group because I'm using groups what groups mean groups mean secondary group what is going to be primary group for this user the username is uh, going to be group name also because by default if you don't specify any group username becomes same uh, for group name so that's a way then I'm having another task for generate SSH keys I'm uh, using user module again you may be thinking why I'm using user module twice because I have used user module to create users then why I have not kept these particular options in same code the reason maybe in your setup you don't want SSH keys generated for every user you want SSH keys for one particular user so that's a demo so here I go demo user one only for this user I want to generate SSH keys that's a reason so I'm using user module name mean uh, for which user key need to be generated generate SSH key is equal to yes what it mean key will be getting generated and this is the SSH, SSH key bit I'm using 4096 and this is the key file next task is to copy the generated SSH keys or public keys to target uh, user on target machine so I'm using lookup here if you see lookup mean it will look file which is the file this file and I'm using authorized underscore key module next task is to delete the user let's say you have to delete a user or delete multiple users uh, you can always uh, use in this way with items what it mean it becomes a standard loop so whatever or many users if you got for deletion just mention all users so this task will repeat itself because that's a standard loop in Ansible next task if you have to delete users again I'm going to delete these two users this is a standard loop again it go tag remove group so every task here got one particular tag associated with it so I'm going to use this playbook based on the tags okay so let's run this playbook friends first thing I want to show you how you can uh, check what are the tags available in your playbook for that purpose you can run ansible dash playbook then playbook name then option dash dash list tags so this will list all the tags inside your playbook if you see these are the available tags add new group add new user copy public key generate SSH keys remove group or remove user so let's work on first tag to create group let's check what are the groups uh, in uh, Ansible playbook for creation purpose so I'm just uh, checking the Ansible playbook what groups will be created so I can verify on other servers so group those are going to be created these are three groups demo grp grp1 grp2 so let's verify this playbook will create uh, groups or not so I'm saying with the execution and civil playbook user management dot yml which is my playbook then tags what it mean only the tag uh, which I'm saying uh, to be executed or uh, action that will get actioned so add new group okay and uh, pressing enter here okay both servers are reachable and if you see it changed the thing so demo grp1 got created on uh, both clients same as second group which got created and similar way third group so let's verify on uh, one of the server what are the groups cat etc group I'm just grabbing for okay uh, if you see these three groups got created it mean our ansible task worked 
without any error the required uh, task is completed so let's add the users now so same thing I can uh, put add user tag and this tag will create users on target machines so let's see how it goes if you see friends user got created how quick this one so you got uh, four users created on two servers in uh, I believe uh, only 10-15 seconds so uh, that's the quickest thing okay next thing let's generate SSH keys now generate SSH keys this is our task again we can call it like same in tag way if you see keys are getting generated let's verify key for demo user one on one of the machine I am just uh, switching to su user cd store ssh it is giving me error what is the error cannot change directly to demo user one permission denied maybe something wrong let's check what is wrong here let me become root ls minus ld that's good we found one issue let's try to fix it okay why it happened because uh, I got uh, this user already created uh, and its home directory was existing because uh, at time of writing this playbook I forgot to delete uh, the user directory of uh, demo user one and other users from the system so let's do in this way uh, let me do user del minus r demo user one okay so I'm deleting user with its home directory so now it's deleted let's create user again using create user tag this time it should go fine Let me list tags okay let's list tags and add new user this was the tag right uh, so here I'm executing tag create user so this will create demo user one again it will not create other users because other users existing so if you see only on uh, this particular machine 1.9 it create demo user one okay let's generate SSH keys now it should work this time okay so it's done so if you see this time user got created with the correct owner why there was error I'm repeating why there was error before because uh, I tested this playbook before and user got created I deleted that user manually without ansible so its user home directory was left and it got a different UID that was the reason but now I have deleted user and retried if you see this time demo user one home directory existing and it got right ownership so let's check whether SSH keys got generated with ansible or not so dot SSH directory if you see these are the keys which got generated by ansible with this particular task which we just executed generate SSH keys so it mean our generation of uh, keys is working so let's see what is uh, our next task which we have to do let's try copy public keys so in this task uh, let me check playbook for which user the keys will get copied so it will copy home demo user one and uh, dot ssh id rsa public key so this key will get copied for to target machines demo user one account before running this task let me demonstrate whether the keys are working or not ssh demo user one at the server IP if config it's zero 
1.9 okay if you see right now it is asking password i'm pressing control c so let me run the playbook now with the tag copy public key so this tag is associated with task which will copy public key from uh, source machine to target machine and target machine is 1.9 and target user is demo user 1 pressing enter here okay if you see it copied the keys okay so let's try our SSH again still it is asking password it means something wrong so let's try what is wrong here and uh, can you figure out what is wrong why the keys are not working I got idea if you can uh, just think why it is not working okay let me tell you because I am running this command in uh, roots directory root user directory and uh, I am not specifying keys I have one thing I can do I can become demo user one and then run this command then it should work otherwise uh, if I want to run from uh, here then I have to say identity file which is basically key file use this particular identity file which is this one id underscore irc let's try now if you see it is working right so only thing I was missing identity file so in this way you can uh, use identity file if you are running the command uh, from some different directory or uh, as a different uh, users account so our this task is also working that's good so let's Let's try other tasks so let's remove group and remove user let's first remove users so for this one again uh, with this tag you can run the command or uh, let's say we want to run both task remove user and remove group so if you want you can uh, make the task in group what it mean both tasks will get executed so only these two tasks will get get executed which are part of this command the remaining tasks will be not touched uh, these tasks so let's press enter here so if you see these were the users mentioned to be deleted in the playbook demo user 3 and demo user 4 so they go deleted from both servers and these were the groups demo grp1 and grp2 both code deleted from both servers in that way friends you can use ansible to perform your user management if you need this playbook uh, just leave a comment on my youtube channel i can share that playbook with you let me show you playbook again so this is my playbook it took approximately one hour to write whole playbook i believe it can be helpful for you so you can append this playbook it can give you basic idea how to perform user management again uh, just leave a comment on my youtube channel if you need this playbook i will share uh, this playbook with you guys thanks a lot for watching my youtube videos i am sure they will be helping you in case uh, you have any query any doubt just leave a comment on my youtube channel thank you for watching this video friends thanks bye bye